I'm Catherine Bennett. We're on Raintree Mara, which is on the North Logan Road, um, about seven kilometres north of Kara, and we're close to the Lochan River. We're custodians of the land rather than owners, and we want to leave it in a better state than it, it has been. So that's why we enjoy doing this work very much. <laughs> We're going to make a tree circle, um, which is what we've done as a way of protecting paddock trees and also improving connectivity across the farm with corridors, laneways, individual plantings, uh, tree plantings, as a way of improving our environment. This particular one is going to enclose about 500 square metres, which means a circle with a 25 metre diameter. So we do that with a piece of string and a tent peg, mark around, and I think I counted it, used um, 21 iron posts. They're put in at an angle facing out and in a circle. Then we put a top wire on and you can just strain that top wire in a little bit um, and it just tightens up those um, posts, but they're still at an angle. Now the angle is really important. It can be any angle, but it's really good to maintain that because sheep tend not to rub on it. You can then plant 10 or so um, trees and that helps with microbial activity and develop, developing a, a mycelial mat underneath the soil. We're really noticing that once those isolated old trees have a circle and support around them, their health improves greatly. It also keeps sheep away from the base of the tree because of course they use it for shade. What we do is we offset the circle so that the tree is on the southern side so we still are able to access shade. Over 12 years or so we've made about 23 circles and they're now scattered across low ground and high ground and then planted um, scattered paddock trees with a single um, guard so that there's a connection and we've also connected them to corridors that are about 25 years old to, to the neighbouring properties. We feel as though we're building up a really good connection across the farm to neighbouring farms but also one of our boundaries is the Lachlan River and that's a fabulous corridor for all sorts of things and we've got we're working on the connection down to there as well. So uh, we've worked with Catherine for quite a few years actually, Catherine and John, and um, helped to try and support them to make the changes that they wanted to make on their farm to improve their biodiversity. So there's been a few different projects that we've been able to support them with, including um, these tree circles that they started about seven years ago um, on their own. The LLS have supported Mid Lachlan Landcare to run a project called Driving Corridor Connectivity. And so through that project, we've been able to support about seven different landholders in our region. And we've done works on those properties to help improve connectivity over about 50 hectares. Whatever we can do and LLS can do to help support that is fantastic and a great outcome. The central table in this local land service has received funding from the Australian government to do works in boxgum grassy woodlands. And so as part of that, we rolled some money out to Landcare. They came up with a few projects. Uh, one of them was to, to protect uh, hollow bearing paddock trees. And so that's why we're here today. We're looking at this one. Catherine's done a really great job in, in doing a lot of paddock trees. Uh, she's got some remnant areas locked out. She's got some corridors. So it's actually creating uh, quite a large area. This is a little refuge. And even standing around today, we've seen lots of birds that you would not expect. Productivity wise, you know, hot summers, shade trees, uh, just the benefits of, of cooling the wind that's coming onto your property. Um, yeah, reduction wise, it's also a win as well. I just love coming out and seeing bird life, mammals, echidnas, um, all sorts of wildlife are coming back as we look after this area. Um, and just seeing trees growing and maturing and looking healthy and connecting the landscape is just fabulous. And of course I went through a number of droughts. One of the most depressing was the early 80s drought and I remember coming out and crying out here because it was so awful. And now I don't have to do that. I can look and think that we're doing a really good job and it's looking wonderful.